And I'm so thankful for my local church back home, Menominee Alliance Church in Menominee, Wisconsin. Any urgent prayer requests we send to them, we're glad that we can call others to help us in the, in the battle, in the warfare, because that's what it is here. Lots of darkness and heaviness. It's that local church connection that helps us be able to handle this. This is spiritual battle here. We didn't know how to do missions well. I mean, we, we were a mission church. It's always been part of our DNA and so forth, but we really didn't know how to do it well. And partnerships has taught us how to do it much better. And you learn from other partnerships how to do things and how do you do missionary care? How do you do uh, uh, church care uh, to the, the churches over there? It's been fun to see people excited about something. We do a lot of things to try and involve as many people as possible. Silly things like we did Operation Cold Sanctuary where we uh, turned off the heat in the sanctuary the day or two before and let it cool down in the middle of winter, told everybody they had to wear their hats and coats to church. The churches over there meet in cold tents, basically, don't have the money for coal and that. So we took up an offering, raised money for buying fuel for the churches over there. So it just involved everybody instead of just that core group. As we do those kinds of things, more and more people seem to get involved. Last summer, a bunch of our high school kids um, and a couple sponsors went over to Mongolia and they had a youth camp for Mongolian youth and it was amazing and that's something that the field had been wanting to do for a while and our church was able to come alongside and partner with them and you know that event would have never happened without our partnership. We have a lot of give and take with us going there and whenever a missionary from Mongolia is in the U.S. we try to get them into our church so that our church can put more faces to names and get to really get to know and continue to build that relationship. When we're hurting, they hurt, and when they celebrate, we celebrate. And to be able to just live life with people, um, that's something that is just incredibly exciting. Take the first step, do what you can. You don't have to do big things. You can do small things and have big impacts. And uh, you know, we have an extraordinary God who wants to use ordinary people, and this is a perfect example of that.